Y'all still have to scale? You you still have to scale this even if you're a Right, but when you ask me about the scale, you still have to scale this? Yeah, all the scale. I have to follow the same exact rules as you. So oh. I have an electronic log, all that stuff, and I can't go over my, right now, I could register this truck for probably at 50,000, but this is my son's trailer, it, it'll haul 37. Oh, okay. Mine's 40 foot, it just got done. It only hauled 30,000, so I only registered for 40. I was just making sure because they told me that was 18,000 pounds, and sometimes they don't know their right. They don't know the they exact don't know weight. The fucking weight. So I wanted to make sure, so I was good. I was. It only weighed 15,000. All right. So do you have do you have your CDLs to drive this or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I took it in this truck with that trailer. Okay. Okay. So it just all it does is allow me to haul the weight. I can't drive anything with air brakes unless I go down and get my air brake endorsement. Right. And then once that's done, I have to only drive it. If I wanted to go to a semi truck, I could only drive an automatic because this is an automatic. Right. So I just got. Well, that's what they training for anyway. Is automatics these days. So it's actually been kind of nice starting off with my son's trailers because I started off with a 30, but then I went to this 33. So I've kind of, so it's a lot. It's allowed me to get used to turning, cornering, things right. like that. So is this, so is this your particular company? Yep. How did you, how did you start? Like, how, how did you start? What made you uh, start doing this? Uh, wages. I went from sixty thousand dollars a year, and a new company bought the fertilizer plant I was running to twenty thousand a year. Damn. And I had bought a house, <coughs> and I told him I can't do this. So if you can either give me a raise, or I'm gonna have to find something else. And I went to this, and both my wife worked for the federal government delivering mail, and we have both quit our jobs. We make about 20 grand a month doing this. All right, so you just said, fuck it, saved your money up. We sold the house and the farm in Oregon. Okay, and you just took that? into the business. So, in other words, you invested in the, in the to the truck. Correct. When you went to go look for the truck, because you know you got Fords, you got you got the Ram, you got the, the motor. Oh, that's the reason why you went with the Ram. Dodge is the only one that uses the inline six, which is what they use in semi trucks. So I went with that. Their only issue I've had is the ABS sensor stuff, which that's Dodge is known for. They yeah. have electrical problems. Do you have to, do you have to go through the scale houses yeah. too? Yeah. I have to pay this one, everything, just like you. Follow okay. the same guidelines. But you don't even but you don't have an A though. You what, no, what? I got a class A license. Oh, you do have a class yeah. A with restrictions. Yep. Damn it, man. Shit. That's what I need to and do. And I get to pick the loads I want to pick. My wife sets the home on her iPad and finds us loads and we get to go where we want to go. We get to take time off when we want that. You know, that's the other advantage compared to working for somebody else that I probably enjoy the most is my time with the family now and the time with the grandkids that we didn't get before because we were kind of married to our jobs. I had to work 70 hours a week, six days a week. And I couldn't see nobody. So I went on the road a little bit more, but I can stop when I want to stop. And you can take your kid with you. I can you. take my kid with me. And I, uh, the time that me and my wife and the family spend together is more quality time. That's what's up. Hey, right, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. I